Hey, what's up, guys? How are you all? This is Ram. Are you watching Infinity Explorer? Today, I found out an answer for my childhood question. Let me tell you my story. I used to watch a lot of TV shows like uh, cartoons, science shows, and a lot more. And I live in a village, so there used to be a lot of pockets. So there used to be continuous interruptions to watch TV. I used to ask my mom, "How can I turn on the TV when there is no power?" She used to say, take the plug and put it in oven, it will turn on the TV. It's not actually true, but there is some science in it. Yes, this device can do that. If you heat on one side and cool the other side, it can produce electricity. This works in Seebeck effect. This is a Pentier module and I have a series of videos. Go watch that playlist in the links in the description and you can check the iCards. Yes, this tiny thing is a powerful beast. This can power up. And I will show you a clear demo. You can do it in your science fair projects and you can use this concept to work on advanced projects and all. So let's get started. This is going to be interesting and may be useful to you. Watch this video till the very end. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. This setup is so simple. A Peltier module is attached to a heat sink. Make sure the hot side is attached to the heat sink. The cold side always has the title written on it. The black thing you see on heat sink is the result of previous test. It's soot and can be cleaned easily. We are going to provide heat with candles to the heat sink, so I am setting this up. Ready? We are going to generate power with heat and ice. Crazy, but it's true. It's generating 0.49 volts, less than 1 volt without the ice. Now I'm placing a cold glass with ice and placing it on cold side. Instant results, voltage started to rise from less than a volt to nearly 3 volts. Let's try to glow the LED with this free energy from Peltier. Yeah, it glows. Let's wait for a minute or so so the heat from the bottom reaches to the hot side efficiently. A few moments later. Let's connect the wires to a mini fan and see if it can be able to power up the motor or not. It works. Free energy. It's currently producing around 4.6 volts. Voltage is increasing. Free energy. It stops when I disconnect and starts to rotate when connected. Hold tight because I'm going to explain how it works. Let's blow off the candles and still it works. Because the heatsink is still hot, there is a good amount of heat difference in here. Let's learn the story behind this concept. In 1821, Thomas Seebeck found that a circuit made of two dissimilar metals with junctions at different temperature would deflect a compass magnet, that's galvanometer, used to measure current. When there is a temperature difference between two dissimilar metals, the electron starts to flow, that generates electricity. To his honor, this effect was named after him, Seebeck effect. It's simply the phenomenon in which a temperature difference between two dissimilar conductors or semiconductors produce voltage difference. And when you apply the voltage difference to those ends, it creates temperature junctions. Just like we see in the previous video where we give voltage to the Peltier module, which contains series of those semiconductors, it becomes hot on one side and cold on the other side. You can watch that video after watching this video. We made some cool projects like mini cooler, mini AC mini ice maker with the same Peltier effect. So I guess you got a clear idea on this. You can perform this anywhere to demonstrate this amazing science principle. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and watch my other videos on Peltier projects as well. Meet you in the next one. Until then keep exploring infinity.